In this video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 easiest platinums. Since a while ago, I went for my top 10 hardest platinums. If you want to check that out, click on the top right. All the platinums in this video gave me no trouble whatsoever, which is the main reason I think they're easy. If you have any games that are easier than these ones I show, let me know in the comments. Now, without further ado, let's get started. At number 10, we have Unpacking. This little game was all about you going to the life of a girl and seeing her move throughout the years. Each time you move, you unpack all of your belongings. As the title gives away, Unpacking. The trophies were really simple. You have to complete each year she moves, then get some miscellaneous trophies. For example, you have to flush each toilet in each one of the homes, or another for solving a Rubik's Cube. This game was really just to get the platinum, but I really enjoyed it. The simple nature of just unpacking a new house, I don't know what it is, but it's just a good feeling, just nice and warm. At number 9, we have Bunny Raiders. This game was not as nice as Unpacking. It was a top-down shooter where you have to destroy robots to save your fellow animals and if you can't tell from the gameplay uh it's not the best looking game it actually gave me a headache when i was playing other than that the trophies were really simple you had one for saving animals defeating enemies and basically getting everything the game had to offer which wasn't really a lot to offer but i got a platinum so i guess it had some worth to it at number eight we have jazz punk this game was really funny it was a lot of pop culture references and just weird things that would just happen. For example, when I got to my last trophy in the game, I had to eat jello to save a lady. I mean, what games are doing that? But anyways, the trophies were just exploring the areas, and each time you explored the areas, you possibly could find a trophy. Now, if you look up a guide, you could easily get this game done less than, I'd say, two hours. At number seven, we have Save Room. If you're a fan of Resident Evil 4's inventory system, then you'll probably like this game. It's basically a puzzle version of that. All you have to do is try to fit all the items into your inventory. There's about 40 levels in the game, and each time you complete an odd level, you get a trophy. So completing all the puzzles gets you all the trophies. Except for a couple miscellaneous ones like examining a gun and combining herbs, but you probably will do that anyways, so it's really simple. At number six, we have Job Simulator. Now, I have made a video playing this game and going over the platinum, so if you want to check that out, it'll be on the top right. I go over more details about the trophies, but right now, I'll just simplify it. Basically, you just play all the jobs, and in those jobs, have miscellaneous trophies, and other than that, it's pretty simple, and it's a fun VR game to play. At number five, we have the Telltale Games. Now, I only have The Wolf Among Us, and Batman the Telltale series. I have Minecraft story mode and I have The Walking Dead, but I get really sleepy when I'm playing these story kind of games, so I don't really get them done. But The Wolf Among Us and the Batman Telltale series, I was able to get those done. The trophies aren't even hard at all because all you have to do is play the game. That's it. You play the game and you beat it. Except for The Wolf Among Us and Minecraft story mode, uh, you do have to do other things like The Wolf Among Us, you have to find all these character bios, which you have to do certain paths to get those. And for Minecraft, there's like one part where you have to pick between either Axel and I forgot the other girl's name, but you pick between the two and you have to get to a certain point and you'll get that. At number four, we have the My Name is Mayo series. This is My Name is Mayo, My Name is Mayo 2, and My Name is Mayo 3. This series is one of the most iconic easy platinums. I think most people know about the My Name is Mayo games. Uh, all you is literally tap a jar of mayonnaise and that's it. It's so simple. And I mean, there's nothing really else to talk about because it's kind of funny. Got a little bit of jokes. But other than that, you literally just tap mayo and you get the platinums. So I got all three of those real simple. At number three, we have Chickens on the Road. What a name. I mean, really, what do you even do in this game? Well, you collect chickens on the road. Really, I mean, you literally just drive a truck and you collect chickens on the road. Each time you collect a chicken, you get points, but you have to avoid oncoming traffic. So what do you do? You just swerve, dodge, pick up chickens and you have to get a thousand one hundred points and you get the platinum it's that simple and number two we have road bustle this is made by the same people who made chickens on the road so you know it's pretty bad this time you're a delivery man and you have to keep moving forward without being hit by a car the further you move the more points you get and when you get 1600 points you get the platinum so basically the same thing as chickens on the road except you're a delivery man and you're running forward and not getting chickens now this is the easiest platinum i have ever game even easier than the last two games i just showed this is jacks 2 now you may be wondering jacks 2 
Well, isn't that a game made by Sony? Shouldn't it be at least long? Maybe really kind of decent? Well, I don't know. I've never played the game, but I saw a video on TikTok where this guy literally got platinum in seconds. So I was like, whoa, is this real? So I loaded up the game and you had to put in a cheat code. Once you put in the cheat code, you get all the trophies and you get the platinum. And I didn't realize that actually worked, so I got it. Now I feel a bit disrespectful because I do want to play the Jack and Daxter series, but I just never really played it. I did play Daxter on the PSP though, and I like that one. But also I don't feel like it's disrespectful because the developers put it in the game. So they basically put it on themselves, but I just got it done. And there you have it, my top 10 easiest platinums. If you have any games you'd like to see me get platinum, let me know in the comments and subscribe to see when they are uploaded. If you want to see another video related to platinums, make sure you click here. And with all that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.